That pesky housefly. Can't live with him, can't swat him. But he isn't as fast as you think. On his best day, he flies along at a mere five miles per hour. So, why is it so hard to swat a fly? It's because time moves more slowly for our little winged friend. This is what trying to swat a fly looks like to you. But this is what you look like to a fly. Compared to us, flies see the world in slow motion, but they can react to it quickly because their rate of perception and ability to react to what they see is faster than ours. Time perception depends on how rapidly an animal's nervous system processes sensory information, and it's measured in hertz. We see things at a rate of 60 hertz, but a common housefly sees things at 250 hertz, taking in over four times as much visual information per second. This allows the fly to react much quicker than a human. Within 100 milliseconds, a fourth of the time it takes a human eye to blink, the fly locates the swatter, formulates an escape plan, and positions itself to take off in the opposite direction, resulting in a big swing and a miss. But why does time perception differ at all? Evolution. Smaller animals tend to perceive time faster than larger ones. A tiny fly needs this ability to escape its many predators. But if you're the length of a basketball court or grow your own armor, you don't need that kind of speed to survive. So why is it so hard to swat a fly? They evolved to outmaneuver slow pokes like you.